Hi, Pisces. Welcome to your love reading. How are you? I hope you're doing fine. In this reading, I will be looking at your current energies, the person in your mind. The next new person coming in, if you're looking for a new person, this will be at the end of this reading. And some other important details. If you're new to the channel, welcome as well. And I invite you to subscribe because I post daily three videos per day based on the elements. Okay, let's begin. Let's start by shuffling uh, five times the deck. If you have any feedback, suggestions, please write me in the feedback link that is in the description box uh, below this video as well. Two more shuffles. Let's start with the energy around you. Three of Swords, Nine of Pentacles reversed. You got hurt deeply by a connection. I have the Three of Swords. Let's hope it was not a third party situation. It might just have been you deeply, deeply not expecting that kind of ending or affected uh, emotionally like that. Somebody wants to return from the past, I think. Somebody you have been waiting to hear about and it's around this theme of uh, discussion or uh, bringing back into your mind a theme of uh, a very uh, a breakup that was not that easy. What is something that is affecting you in your subconscious? The lovers. You felt so connected to this person. It felt uh, very deep, powerful, important. It might have been felt like a twin flame connection and it it is still difficult to forget that experience. What was the main challenge there? The distance or somebody deciding to create distance and space emotionally, especially? Or if it was a long-distance relationship, it was something that um, it didn't work. Now, your focus is to fulfill your wishes and dreams, something you might have wanted to manifest. But especially, your main focus is to be happy and content and not dependent on somebody else for feeling uh, joy and uh, happiness overall. And you fear that uh, the connection with this person is still problema problematic, like it is very difficult to connect or have trust towards each other. The trust issues might still be there and it might be very difficult to have a healthy, a natural flow kind of conversation with this person. Now let's look at first uh, the person that is currently in your mind. And uh, yes, Eight of Cups, this person decided to move on. But let's see what are their current energies right now. They want to reconnect, but they don't want to put the theme of love or relationship. They want to come to words in just a formal or friendly way. Mostly it seems to me like they are trying to think on how to cooperate to be on the same page with you. And they have been making this plan. They are making a strategy because they know it will not be easy to, to even start the conversation with you because they do see you very very guarded and not easy to connect right now what is on their mind on their mind is you not uh, waiting anymore but just moving on and giving up on that relationship what is in their subconscious they want to work on this they want to find ways on how to be patient and dedicate time and energy into this do they have any plans of action now, they have plans of action, of talking, but they believe this will not be easy because it will produce some dramas. Uh, they want to come towards you as soon as possible, but without creating or uh, hearing dramas and conflicts. So that's why I think they're trying to make a perfect plan of come back. This person might have not been that uh, honest with you in the past as well. That is possible. But there's this Seven of Swords here card. There's this energy of sneaky behavior in the past. What is some possible outcome between you both? Possible outcome in the near future. Moon reversed. The Four of Pentacles opening up. 
and some secret information might get revealed, some information that was hidden. What kind of information is that? The Fool and the Temperance. It is not telling me exactly, but there's a heavy energy of this person wanting to return. We have in the, the Nine of Pentacles reverse at the beginning of this reading as well. Uh, it is not telling me exactly what kind of information or secrets might get revealed. It is telling me that uh, it is... There's this hidden information that this person has been planning about coming back. It's not... Uh, it's not uh, that they have forgotten about this or they turned their back. No, they may have disconnected physically, but energetically they were there with you. What is some advice for you regarding this? Uh, Page of Cups. Some of you need to have that conversation. It is needed. I am not quite sure if that will help to close this or to restart that, but some of you might need that communication. Yes, Two of Pentacles. Especially if you have been or are indecisive if you want to drop this connection completely or not. Now, if you want to know even more details about this person, there's an extended video as well in the description box below with even more details about their current energies and some of your energies as well. Now, let's continue with the new person. Let's see what are the energies of the next new person coming in. It will be very unexpected. I have Scorpio energy here as well. It will be very transformative for you, a very passionate a uh, charming person, attractive, beautiful, handsome. What will be their first impression about you? Like you are very, uh, very cold, detached, upset in general. They will see you from the outside and think, why are you so upset all the time and unhappy? That will be their first impression. What about the energies? of how you will uh, create this impression about them in the beginning. Uh, you will think that this is a person that doesn't open up easily, like they are guarded, they don't open their heart very quickly. And yes, you will see a very hurt person that uh, has been hurt in love in general and has some insecurities about jumping into a new connection. What will be the energy of the first month? A very happy one. I do see you both bringing happiness and joy and contentment into each other's lives the first month of this interaction. What is something long term about this energetically? Uh, long term. I do see this as a important connection, but uh, it is a spiritual connection as well. It is just... Uh, not you talking to them, but spirits, both spirits talking to each other. So there's a deep connection, but also if you're waiting or hoping for some rapid progress to that long-term commitment or making this official, it might not be that fast. Pisces, this was your reading. I hope this was helpful. If you liked and resonated with this reading, please hit the like button and uh, share the video if you want to. It helps a lot the channel and I highly appreciate it. At the same time, if you haven't subscribed already, I invite you to subscribe because I post daily three videos uh, per day based on the elements. But you can check the schedule, it is in the description box below this video. Wishing you all the best. I will see you the next reading. Bye for now.